All right, what up, YouTube? I never show you guys any working videos of me actually working, so. Anyway, this is a panel change. It was 60 amp, Federal Pacific. Federal Pacific panels are illegal because they cheated on their tests years ago, and uh, it's always a violation. So anyway, we've been replacing them for years because they put a lot of them in. And this is a uh, six flat, so there's six, probably three bedroom uh, units in these. Believe it or not, it's, it's a pretty big building. Anyway, so what I'm doing now, I've got, uh, I had to refeed it because it was 60 amps. So here's my meter bank. There's the actual meter. These are old school meters with adapters. Because this shit was put in before my dad was born. And no, it wasn't. I don't know, 60s probably. Anyway, uh, it's uh, it's old stuff. So anyway, and like this unit here, they did a panel change and they just added a 100 amp breaker. I think that's overkill. And anyway, uh, now you know what they did. That's right. They added a 100 amp breaker and the and the um. Panel's probably up in the unit. They probably flipped that condo and put the panel up in the unit and left themselves a disconnect down here. That's code. You got to have a disconnect at the meter. Anyway, so now my hot, it's, it's just single phase uh, 240. So anyway, my I refed it. All that's tied in. Now what I do, okay, so I have this bundle of wires. I had to cut this pipe back to make it fit and marked it in. And then I just got to tie everything else back in. But anyway, so this pipe, I've got a bunch of conductors. So what I do is I go for my neutrals first. You know, you guys really can't see this, can you? Yeah. Anyway, go for my neutrals first. Make them, uh, I wish I had my glasses. Make, never cut them short, especially in old ones. You know, try to use the whole length of the wire so it's in there. For the next guy you will have to trim it but don't trim it short unintentionally you always have to try to uh save as much of the length as possible because wire nuts and panels they're actually illegal inspectors will let them happen because they you know they know the situation as far as uh, i mean they're not gonna get pull a whole nother wire all the way to the unit you know but uh Anyhow, that's uh, that's kind of what's going on. I'm just doing this uh, quick panel swap. It'd probably take me two hours, make a thousand bucks. <laughs> you know. Anyway, uh, and then I'm going back out to the bigger job. Andreas, the guys are out there right now piping. My new guy, man, that's working out there. He has foreman potential. <laughs> like he's, I don't mean potential. I mean like he can do it. He's got the experience. He's got the know-how. And he's got the common sense. He's got a good demeanor. And that dude is going to help me make a, sh it's going to help me make more money. Anyway, so I've got that one in. Now, like you see these, these suck. They were that short. So I'm going to, now I'm going to go with my conductors. And I'm going to get them in. I'll get these. I'll leave those two short ones for later. Anyway, this was taped off. Never hooked up, so I'm just not going to hook it back up. And here we go. So, you see I'm leaving wire there. But you also want everything to be in 90 degree angles. You know, like a circuit board. You want it to look right. Um, I've got some breakers around here somewhere. Anyway, uh, yeah, we got random one. So always get yourself, always have 15s and 20s on the truck of, you know, the three most common panels, Siemens, GE, Cutler, Hammer. So, um, and then you just gauge them correctly. Like this is, uh, I'll run after I strip, it's probably 14, this whole wire is hard to tell sometimes. This, no, it's 12. So number 12 is going to be 20 amp. Boom, there we go. And this is how I do this. I don't put the 
I bend my wire to where I know it's got a V strip back and then put it on like this. Out of the panel. And then I just, I know this is off by the way. Yeah, turn it off first. <laughs> anyway, then I just put it in there the way you know where it's supposed to go. And then you're not fighting with it, I don't know. Argument could be made the other way, it's just a preference, I guess. Like here, I'll do one the other way. I don't know. I don't know I guess. I like these panels. This is a, uh, I think it's a color hammer. Anyway, uh, um, all the screws are already backed out for you. I think it's GE. You have to unscrew it and put the wire in and screw it back in. I mean, that, you know, I mean, it's, it's just one less step. And I like to see engineers thinking about the electrician, you know, the guy who's got to put the damn thing in. It's probably a little bit of marketing, too, in that. <laughs> you know what I mean? they got a marketing team. But that's why I buy them. You know what I'm saying? It was a good, uh, yeah, we see that one now. You know, I'm ambidextrous with putting breakers in. I can put them in there or out. Anyway, it depends on the, on the application, I guess. See the long one that's not being used, you know, it's a can. The short ones. Anyway. So I try to stay organized and stuff, but these lit yeah, that's a little job. It's kind of set myself up. What I do is this is just to be efficient. I open the new panel, put the box on the ground, it's right here, and then as I'm ripping, take it, take the new panel out, leave the box open, and then as I'm ripping out the panel, it goes in the old box, and that way you don't have shit laying everywhere, you know, and you got a nice garbage right next to you. Anyway, okay, so this one is going to be next, and then I can get rid of that. Anyway, I'm not going to do some. I'll probably get about a half hour to put this in. I'm not going to do the whole video. I'm just doing a little on, you know, some of these guys like the electrical stuff. And you know what? I like it too, man. And a little story. It's something I was thinking about when I'm in that truck, man, stuck in traffic. I'm just thinking. I'm playing my hand, you know what I mean? Because there's a bunch of moving parts in my life with the farm renovation, uh, house renovation out there, everything I'm doing with the land, this company that's paying for all that. <laughs> but, uh, uh, I don't know where I was going with that. Anyway, you know, there's a lot of moving parts to everything. When I'm driving in that truck, I just think about stuff. Uh, I forget to, I'm sorry, man, I got sidetracked. And then I forgot to tell you guys what I was thinking about. I forgot what it was. But anyway, oh yeah, so uh, working with good guys around you, like I love what I do. This shit's fun to me. I'd rather be at a big building drilling holes through walls, bulldozers and shit, and, you know, around. But I'm going there next. <laughs> but anyway, working with good electricians makes it fun, you know. Working with inexperienced guys that don't know what they're doing. And maybe not even just, you know, the apprentices, man. I can't stand it. They take the fun out of it and put stress into it, you know. Uh, same with the other trades. If I'm on a job and the carpenters are a bunch of hacks or something, it just takes the fun right out of it, you know. But anyway, all right, so that's in, that's in. Uh, I just got to, this isn't code, this old BX, but it's in all these buildings. And the inspectors aren't going to make you cut holes in the walls to the third floor. Uh, you're just not allowed to install it new. It was installed illegally. It's never been code, but they don't make you replace it, uh, the existing stuff. And then I've obviously got to rebend this pipe. What I'm going to do is just offset into the side. It'll give me more wire because they're short again. And uh, that's it, guys. So uh, panel changing with Mr. Nate. Anyway, um, that's it, guys. I uh, appreciate all the comments and, uh, you know, my subscribers. You know, I, uh, 
I don't always have time to reply to the comments. It's because I'm busy as hell. But I definitely try to at least get the video up there for you guys. Anyway, comment, rate, and subscribe if you want to. Thanks.